So my current position is conservation social scientist for the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. And um, we technically administer all the national wildlife refuge system across the country. I believe there's 560 something refuges um, scattered in every state and territory. What I hope to, um, to provide conservation through this position is ideally I'll be overseeing the, the write-up of the reports that are coming from this data and then we'll send those reports out back to the refuges and the refuges will um, ideally use that information to improve their, their management. So I decided to come to CSU for the master's program conservation leadership in the human dimensions and natural resources department. Um, I had heard of the master's program when I was a sophomore undergrad and it seemed like the perfect um, graduate program that I was looking for if I was to pursue a master's. So it's a, it's a blend of learning conservation social science, but then taking that science and actually implementing it in the real world. And so I just felt like that was a connection that was desperately needed in the conservation science realm. Um, the ability to, to collect that important science, but actually use it um, in real world programmatic um, change. So my um, dissertation research was focused on the use of science in collaborative conservation decision making, so that's a mouthful, but um, I was specifically focused on looking at these private-public partnerships that are popping up throughout the western U.S. and they're all pooling the resources to invest in wildfire mitigation, which is of course a growing problem year to year. And so again, my specific um, research interest in that was trying to figure out how they um, use science in their decision making, how important is science relative to other factors when they're making these decisions. And so I didn't um, intend on this, but I think it is very relevant um, to be studying the role of science, um, especially in, in today's day and age where um, you know, science may not be taken as seriously as it should in a lot of different realms. And so I think it's a research topic that is going to only increase in importance and relevance moving forward. It's not easy, but it's incredibly rewarding work to get into. So the moment I knew I wanted to pursue a career in conservation was when I was a senior in high school. Um, I went to Costa Rica with my high school Spanish class and that was just the most life-changing experience I think I've ever had. We took, I believe it was about a week and a half to travel around the country and they brought us to these really incredible remote locations in the jungle and I was just floored by the diversity of the flora and fauna there and how big and beautiful our world really is um, beyond where I grew up. Um, my first real exposure to anything outside of um, the U.S. or my state, home state really. And so I remember it was at some point during that trip where I just realized like, wow, there's so much beauty and so much um, to value and to take care of and to conserve and I want to dedicate my life to um, being a part of that and doing that to the best of my ability. The last thing I'd like to share is my philosophy on, um, on this work again. And I feel that everyone has a part to play to ensuring a more um, equitable, sustainable future. Um, I think that a lot of times it's easy to feel small and in insignificant and to think that you can't make a difference. Um, and that's just not true. I'm a firm believer that if you change one person, if you change their mindset, if you change the way they act or think about something, then in essence, you did change the world. My all-time favorite quote is, you are but one link in a vast chain anchored to the dawn of time, forge it well. And I have no idea uh, who said that. Um, it's something that I think I found it on a bookmark when I was <laughs> um, a kid and it's been like, on my email signature, you know, for as long as I remember. And I think it's just such a great quote to show that we're only here for a very short, limited amount of time. And so why not do everything in our power to make sure that um, this thing that we've, we've created, you know, as a species, as a society, continues well beyond our own individual lifetimes.